Welcome to Shape by Faith, a special series led by health and fitness expert Teresa Rowe. Get ready for an entertaining and spirit-led adventure while learning ways you can become fit in your body, mind, and spirit. Now here's Teresa. Hi, I'm Teresa Rowe. Welcome to Shape by Faith. We shape our bodies and hearts for God's purposes. I hope you enjoy this Pilates mat workout that I put together in my home just for you. God says we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Each exercise has a prayerfully chosen scripture to help strengthen our spiritual foundation. This mindful approach to exercise becomes complete as we engage our spirit, mind, and body. Let's get started. Let's go ahead and get into a neutral spine position. Bring your navel to your spine, pull your belly in, extend your arms at your side, and just breathe. Take a deep inhale through your nose and exhale out of your mouth. Continue to breathe, inhaling through your nose and exhaling out of your mouth. It's real important that we breathe deep and we breathe from our diaphragm. There's purposeful breathing for every single exercise in this workout. So breathe and I want to remind you that the Spirit of God has made you and the breath of the Almighty gives you life. So we're going to start with a modified bridge position. Just place your head and neck in neutral position. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, roll up through your spine each vertebrae at a time. Go where you can and then roll all the way back down. Let's do that again. Exhale, roll up through your spine and breathe. Keep those shoulders down and then lower back down. What we're doing is we're working on flexibility of the spine here. We're warming up the back. This is amazing for the back and for the spine. Two more of these. Exhale, roll up, use that breathing technique and then back down. Let's do that one more time without the arms. Go ahead and roll up. This is called the bridge. Again, it strengthens the back, it strengthens the low back and the upper back, and we're gonna go ahead and add those arms. Bring them up, reach, reach, reach over the head as far as you can go, extend, bring the arms up and lower down. Again, exhale. Using those arms, feel that extension through your arms and your spine, feel that in your belly. I call the belly our powerhouse. So keep the navel to the spine. Keep breathing. You're doing fantastic. And then lower back down. There's a great scripture verse that says, humble yourself before the Lord and he will lift you up. God will lift you up in his time and keep doing what you're supposed to be doing. And I'm telling you, God will bring it about. Keep it going. Keep moving. Feel that spine. And we have one more. Exhale, roll up each vertebrae at a time, hold right there, and then lower back down. The next exercise is all about the core. So the belly scooped in, arms are gonna lift off that mat about six inches. You're gonna keep your head in neutral and start to pump those arms down. This is called the hundred. So to progress this exercise, you're gonna go ahead and look towards those legs, keep the shoulders down, and keep pumping. The next progression is a tabletop position. Again, belly in and breathe. And then the next position, fully extend the legs. You can come up a little higher. Another scripture verse, if you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. And that's great news for each one of us. That's from the book of Romans. Chapter 10, verse 9. Let's go back into a back stretch and lower back down. The next exercise, place your feet on the mat. Pull the belly in, navel to the spine. This is called a roll up. We're gonna start with the modification. Bring the arms up and then over the head. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, come up where you can hold it, just right there. And then roll back down. You can bring your arms up here, right over the shoulders or all the way back. Let's do that again. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, roll up and hold. And then back down again. We're going to start with more of a progression in this next set. Just so bring your legs out, heels together, belly in. Inhale, roll up, all the way up there. Reach, reach, reach. Flex over your legs. Now on this part, you're going to inhale and you're going to roll down. 
Slowly use those powerhouse mu muscles and reach, reach, reach. Again, roll up. You can always hold a pillow or a prop out in front of you. This is a really challenging exercise, believe me. So don't get discouraged, okay? If you cannot sit all the way up, it's going to be okay. A lot of times I tell my students to place a pillow back behind the small of their back or to hold it in the hands or you can hold a weight. Keep it moving. Again, rolling up. Inhale and then exhale. And I call this the belly scoop. When we bring the navel to the spine, pull it in, breathe through it, stay focused, keep those legs extended, and then roll back down. God decided in advance to adopt us into his own family by bringing us to himself through Jesus Christ. You know, I was adopted as a child, and I always felt a little rejected or abandoned. I had a great family, but when I found out later in life when I became a Christian that God adopted me, it changed everything for me. I felt His unconditional love. Everything changed. I saw things brand new. Um, I began to have a lot of hope, and I still do to this day. Let's do that one more time. Roll up each vertebrae at a time and then exhale, and then roll all the way back down. All right, we're gonna go ahead and go into a back stretch. So draw those knees in and just breathe. Maybe rock side to side, inhale and exhale. Just hold right here, shoulders down, belly is in. Place both feet on the mat. Extend those arms and legs out. Reach, reach, reach. Circle the arms around. Welcome back. We're going into the single leg stretch. So go ahead and bring one knee in towards you. Hold on the inside of the knee and outside of that ankle and then extend one leg up. Modified position, keep the legs high, keep the head down and alternate your legs. Just reach them out there one at a time. The progression, flex up through your spine, look towards your legs and start to extend those legs a little bit lower and closer to the floor. The breathing is inhale for two legs and then exhale for two legs. You know, I love the scripture that says, you saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. You know, God wrote your story. He wrote every detail about you. He loves you so much that he wants you to go to him every single day and say, God, what's your plan for me today? God, let me fulfill your will in my life today. Just a few more of these. Keep breathing. Let's do one more. And let's go back to that back stretch. Now this next exercise is pretty challenging, but I believe you can do it. Place your feet on the mat. Place the hands back behind the head. The modification would be bring one knee in toward you, come up and rotate, and then lower down. Same thing with the opposite knee, come up and rotate, and then back down. Progression, draw one knee back in, just like your single leg. Extend one leg out, hands back, and rotate towards the bent knee, and then alternate. I love this scripture, I praise you because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Have you told yourself that? You know, sometimes I look in the mirror and say, Teresa, you're fearfully and wonderfully made. You are too. That's how the book of Psalms, chapter 139, verse 14. Go ahead and draw those knees in. Place the feet on the mat. Go ahead and lengthen that spine out. Remember that belly scoop, navel to the spine. Bring your arms down. Now, to modify this reverse curl, bring one leg back at a time. Just start right there. You know, you have to start where you're at, right? We've got to start someplace. So let's start right here. Let's do that one more time. Just exhale, bring that leg back. One more. Progression is a tabletop position. Keep the belly in. Now we're gonna roll through the spine. Bring those legs back a little bit. Good job, let's do that again. Exhale. 
and then inhale, keep that belly in. If we freely admit our sins, when his light uncovers them, he will faithfully forgive us. Forgiveness, that's the key to everything. Forgiving easily, God forgave us. One more, nice. Draw those knees back in. Now we're going to the plank exercise. I know you've heard about the plank before, and I want you to go at your level and your pace, okay? So what we're gonna do is go down on the mat. Of course, keep the belly in. And we're gonna start in a modified position. Come up on the knees and just hold it, just right there. Take a deep inhale. Take a deep exhale and hold. Now, to progress this, go ahead and grip your toes on the floor. Extend the legs. Every muscle in the body needs to help out, not just the abdominals, not just the powerhouse muscles, just hold right here. Now during the plank, I try not to think about how hard it is because let's just be honest, this is hard. So here's what I think about. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. God strengthens me when I don't feel good, when I get up in the morning, I'm just not feeling like I've got it, I don't have to worry about that. God's got it. He's got me. He's got all the strength that I need for today. He's going to strengthen me. He's going to strengthen you in every detail of your life, not just physically, but spiritually, emotionally. Maybe at your job, watching your kids at home, watching your grandchildren. We have 11 grandkids. And I need God's strength when I'm with them, when they're playing with Nana. Go ahead, lower the knees down, exhale, and just go back and stretch. And I love this stretch right here. Let all that I am praise the Lord. Great posture for prayer. Keep that belly scooped. Take a deep inhale. Take a deep exhale. We're going to go ahead and sit up all the way up. And just cross those legs and pull that belly in. Let's just work on our posture. Bring the arms up, reach, reach, reach overhead. Exhale, bring them down. Again, let all that I am praise the Lord. And again, let's go into a side lane. Just reach over and hold and then up and again. Lord, I praise you when I exercise. I praise you when I'm in my car. I praise you when I'm getting ready. As I'm doing squats, blow drying my hair, I praise you. Keep it going. Let all that I am praise the Lord. And again, let's bring those arms back up and way up overhead and exhale back down. And again, bring them up. This time, bring the arms back behind us. Reach, 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 reach. Shoulders down. Inhale up. Let's do that again. Let's see how our spine is feeling work on flexibility through the spine and again this is a great exercise for posture for alignment to see how those shoulders are doing keep that belly scooped and again reach up way up over the head this is a great exercise just to do during the day like every hour just do something just do something that's active and again Reach, we're gonna hold this one just a little bit longer. Reach those arms back, shoulders down, and then roll up through your spine, each vertebrae at a time. Bring your arms out in front, just flex that belly, scoop that belly, just hold. Arms back up. I love this part of the exercise segment. It's called the side leg series. For a modification, bend your bottom leg, extend your top leg out, pull your belly in, scoop that belly, rotate the leg, extend the leg up, point the toes, and flex and lower. Let's do that again. Or you don't have to go up as high. Just reach where you can and bring it back down. Now I'm going to extend both legs out, rotate my legs out just a little bit, take a deep inhale, exhale, lift, and flex lower. Search me, oh God. Don't we all need God to search us every day? Search my heart and test me. Know my anxious thoughts. Lord, point out anything in me that offends you and lead me along the path of everlasting life. 
a love that is taken from the book of Psalms, chapter 139, verses 23 and 24. Next exercise is called the passe. Bend the leg, then extend it up, and then flex lower it. Let's do that again. We're gonna take an inhale as we lift, exhale lower down, and we know that God works everything together for the good of those who love God and who are called according to His purposes. You are called according to His purposes. He has an amazing plan for you. He has a destiny for you to walk with Him every single day. Let Him lead you, because He will, and let Him guide you. Let's do that one more time, one more passe. Lengthen that leg and lower down. All right, take that top leg and just set it in front of you. You're gonna rotate towards the front just a little bit, keeping that belly in. Lift that bottom leg to work on the inner thigh. So you're gonna flex. You're just gonna lift right here, and then you're going to point. We are God's, you are God's masterpiece that He created in Christ Jesus so that you can do all those great things that He planned for you to do so many years ago. Go ahead and point again. Nice. We're going to transition to the opposite side. So keep your belly pulled in. As you lift up, let's go to the other side and extend those legs out to the front. You can always lie down on the arm or bend the arm or prop yourself up. Remember your modifications. Bend your bottom leg, lift up, and then lower down. Do that again. Lift up and down. To progress, extend both legs out. Belly scoop, lift the leg, and then lower. Because of Christ and our faith in Him, we can now come boldly and confidently to God. You can go to God every single day. Sometimes I just you know, I get up and I say, God, this is your day. Please show me your will for today. Please help me to do what you've called me to do. Let's go into the passe, bend the leg, extend it, and lower. Don't worry about if you can't get your leg way up there. Just do what you can do. Don't worry about anything, as a matter of fact. Just pray. Tell God everything. Turn your worries into prayers. And that's taken from the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 6. This passe works on the inner thighs, works on the legs for sure. If you have any swelling in your lower extremities, it helps take that away. Let's do that a few more times with that belly scoop. And one more time. Inhale, exhale. Going into those inner thigh lifts. Take that top leg. Set it to the front. Go ahead, increase that extension through your spine. You can lie down or you can stay up and lift that leg. Your word is a lamp to guide my feet and a light for my path. Point the toes. God will light up the path for you every single day. Again, flex. Again, just call on Him. Sometimes I'm in my driveway, I get out of my car and I'm like, God, I need your guidance, I need your direction. Go ahead, lower that down. We're gonna transition again, come on up. Lie down, we're gonna work on the legs with our leg circles. So go to that neutral spine position, extend one leg up. We're gonna rotate it out a little bit. We're gonna cross over and then just bring it right back around. Again, cross over that body, feel that in your hips and through your glutes. You're gonna breathe with purpose here, extending the leg as long as you can, inhaling and exhaling. Again, this is a leg circle, also works on flexibility, and we're gonna hold it right there. Now take it the opposite position and extend that opposite leg out if you want, bring it out, Bring it down, careful with this, and then up and around. Make sure to keep your low back down. Set your mind on things above and not on earthly things, all right? That's God's word. Think about the thoughts that He wants you to think about. Again, breathing, inhale and exhale one more time. Doing fantastic and hold good. Bring that foot down, let's reposition. Bring your opposite leg up, rotate out a little bit, cross over, go down, and then up and around. And again, inhale and exhale. A few more times. Just do what you can do, right? Just circle where, where you can circle, 
One more time. Nice. Opposite direction. Nothing can ever separate us from God's love. Nothing can. Keep it going. Keep reaching and extending. And again, let's go into a back stretch. Just hold right here. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but he's given us a spirit of power, love, and self-discipline. Rock a little bit back and forth, inhaling and exhaling. You did great. Go ahead and position yourself on your hands and on your knees. Engage your powerhouse. This is called the opposite arm and leg. Extend one leg out and your opposite arm. We're gonna modify the first few right there. Just extend as far as you can and then bring yourself back into position. Again, exhale as you go out. Inhale back in. Let's do that one more time to practice it. Exhale, extend and then lower. Now we're going to progress that move. So you're going to reach up and hold and reach. Do you feel that in your spine and your back? And bring it back down. And again, exhale and then inhale. Again, Jesus is the vine. He is our lifeline. And we are an extension of Him in everything we're doing. We place God first, even as we exercise, as we're driving around, in our car, at work, we just put him first. And then we go out and we share the good news with other people. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So modification for the opposite arm and leg, one leg and one um, arm out there, bring it back in. Exhale, extend, then inhale. One more time, just reach, reach, reach. Now let's go ahead and progress. Fully extend, go up at the top and hold. And then you should be feeling this as your belly is scooped, your powerhouse is engaged. You should be feeling this also in your arm and in your leg, the back of your legs, your hips and your glutes, but especially in your back and in your spine. So if you have some back issues or some spine issues, this one is an amazing exercise for you to be doing. Let's hold right there. Nice. Now place both hands directly under the shoulders. And what we're going to do is flex our spine, let your head drop down, pull that belly in. And this is for the back and the spine as well. I love this stretch. Now reverse it and exhale and extend and just press back in your glutes and in your low back area. So scoop your belly, go ahead, just release that head, release those shoulders a little bit and reverse, let's hold this one right here. Let us approach God's throne of grace with confidence. Go ahead and flex. Again, you can approach God with confidence, knowing that He is there, He's hearing you, He's listening, and He's gonna show you what to do. Go ahead and just find that belly scoop neutral area in your core and go to a seated position. Next, we're working on the obliques. They make up the waist and they wrap around the body. So what I would like to do, you could hold a prop, but since we don't have one, just place your hands together. And you're just gonna rotate those arms from side to side. Really focused in on the muscles, again, that wrap around that waist. My favorite scripture verse is trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He will direct your path. That is my life verse. And um, it's so personal to me. I just make it personal. I say, Teresa, you need to trust in the Lord. You need to stop worrying about, stop trying to figure things out. Just trust in Him. He's got it all worked out for you. Wouldn't that be nice if we did that <laughs> with everything? Keep it going, just a few more of these. All right, now we're gonna sit up nice and tall. You're gonna extend your legs out there, so reach, reach, reach. Bring your arms out from the side and then up just a little bit. This is called the seated saw. So what we're gonna do is rotate towards one side and pulse down, so go one, two, three, and then back up. Opposite direction, one, two, three, and up. In this exercise, we're working on flexibility of the core and the spine. We're working on the extension of the legs. You should notice this in your hamstring muscles, the back of your legs, 
A lot of people get really tight in that area. And again, this is a great warm up exercise. It's also just a great exercise to do for flexibility. Shoulders stay down. And again, pulse one, two, three, and back up one more time. One, two, three. Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and let's bring the arms out in front of us. Sit up taller. And we're going to go into spine stretch forward. So, we're going to slide those arms out and flex your spine. Look down and then roll back and sit up tall. Did you know that your body's a temple of the Holy Spirit that is in you and that you were bought at a price? Therefore, honor God with your body. Honor Him. Take care of it. I always say, how are you going to turn this body back in? Because this body is unleashed from God. So we need to take care of it. We need to be really mindful about what we're eating, what we're drinking, what we're allowing ourselves to watch and um, read, what we're allowing in our homes. It all matters. Let's do that one more time. Spine stretch forward, reach, reach, reach and then roll back up to a seated position. We're gonna go back to that crossing of the legs and sit up tall, or you can bring your legs out in front of you. And arms at your side, you're gonna bring one arm up and reach and extend, just hold, nice little side lean right there, and then back up. Let's go to the other side. Inhale, reach, 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 and exhale, and then back up again. Again, reach that arm up, and again, let's go over the verse before this one. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge God, and He will direct your path. Bring both arms up, and then lower down, shoulders down. Roll them back a few times. Shoulder rolls and shoulder shrugs are so, so good for the body. Thank you for allowing me in your home today. I hope you're motivated to continue preparing yourself to be the best that you can be. As we continue exercising and praising God together, He will bless our bodies and hearts for His purposes. It is God who made us and breathed His Spirit in us so we can encourage others to live for Him. Until next time, may the Lord bless you and keep you safe, healthy and strong in your body, mind, and spirit.